You say this was orchestrated by the former death professor? I thought he was dead. Well, all the other dead are back, so yeah, that makes sense. The whole city's a mess. The guard is completely overwhelmed. I hate to ask, but could you see if Private Quinn on Firecat Alley needs help? Halt! Oh, you're that Unicorn Way hero wizard, aren't you? What? Sergeant Muldoon sent you? Woo! I need all the help I can get! This street is ablaze, wizard, and not in the way it's always ablaze. It's been completely consumed by anger and hostility and violence. The Fire Elves have gone insane! A gaggle of them even broke down the gate to the dark cave. Now the undead have spilled out into the street. I can't hold all these roving mobs of mayhem at bay alone. Please, wizard, can you drive the haunted minions back? this corner of the street. But we're not going back in the dark cave. It's spooky in there. The undead have promised not to venture any farther? It's not ideal, but after everything else that's happened here, I call that a win. It all started when the Fire Elves were rehearsing the song Recollection from Fire Cats, the musical. Everything was going fine, pitchy soprano solo aside, when one of the Fire Elves suddenly shot a tiny arrow at me. Then another elf joined in. Then another. The animosity spread like wildfire. Now even the lawn decorations have risen up and gone all stabby. A wizard named Lizzo Firespitter was coaching the elves on singing before the trouble started. I saw them attack her. I wanted to help, but... Uh, uh, I simply had to secure this position. Now I'm the only thing standing between all this chaos and Old Town. Please, will you check on Lizzo? This is no place for a newbie like you. Wait! You're the new kid who cleaned up Unicorn Way, aren't you? <laughs> well, I'm glad you're here now. Some fire elves attacked me and stole my spell book. The truth hurts, but I'm literally powerless without it. Could you get my spell book back? You will? Thanks. Just try to be gentle, okay? The fire elves aren't evil. Someone, something, has corrupted them.
burnt out ends of smoky days! The stale cold smell of morning! File for fiddle! <laughs> My spell book! Thank you! You really are as talented as they say. However, we're gonna need more than talent to help the Fire Elves. I have no idea what's causing my little friends to go cuckoo bananas like this, or how to help them. But I might know of someone who does. There's a rumor of a witch who was fired from Ravenwood that lives in hiding here on Firecat Alley. They say she turned a kid into a humongo frog. I think we can convince her to use her advanced magical prowess to help the Fire Elves. I might be too optimistic, but that's a human in me. <laughs> the wizard in me is worried she's the one who caused all this. Either way, we need to find her. Perhaps one of the other denizens knows how. I saw Shellis Gruffheart cowering in a corner at the top of the hill instead of helping me while I was running for my life earlier. Oh well, go ask Shellis if he knows where the witch lives. Leave me alone! Oh, you're a wizard? Wait, you're not two fire elves in a wizard costume, are you? No? You promise? Cause I know ice magic. Okay, I believe you, <laughs> which is good because I don't know a lick of ice magic. So, are you here to save me, magical child? Not quite. Fair enough. What do you want then? Do I know where the old witch is? Hmm, I'm not sure. What I am sure of is that the bedeviled fire elves stole my strong box. My entire month's earnings are in that box, wizard. You get my strong box back. Wink, wink. And maybe I'll remember the answer to your question.
player for fiddle. My strong box! Thank you. Now about your question. I can't say for certain she's a witch, but there's a peculiar hermit who lives down the way. She keeps her windows drawn, and there's often strange smoke billowing from her chimney. That's the best I can give you. Hope it helps. interrupt an old woman from her stories. Did Ambrose send you to banish me? Well, I'm not going without a fight. What's that? Corrupted fire elves? Murderous magma men? The undead have spilled from Dark Cave? They need the witch's help? First off, I'm 100% not that witch. Or any witch, for that matter. I'm an alchemist. Secondly, this sounds like a city guard job. The guard is pinned down. Ugh, typical. All right then, I'll help. But I need to know exactly what we're dealing with here. Take this special vial and collect a sample of magma from those magma men you mentioned for me to analyze. We'll go from there. Oh, that was quick. Phew! You smell like sulfur. Now, hand me the magma and I'll run a quick analysis on it. And done. 
Ah, looks like the root cause was a banshee's whale curse. Oh, and I recognize these melodic signatures. Bastilla Gravewind. Bastilla was the prima donna of the Fire Globe Theater decades ago. She had a bitter relationship with the Fire Elves, especially fellow actors. During a performance of Magic Fire Music, her elf co-star accidentally summoned actual fire magic, and that was the end of poor Bastilla. I'd heard that she had a thriving underworld theater career, but apparently she's decided to return with a vengeance. A Vanshee's Whale Curse works like an auditory virus. Rehearsals for that dreadful musical served as the perfect way to infect the masses. Thankfully, this particular whale seems to have no effect on humans, but we need to help the Fire Elves before their little brains melt. To reverse the curse, I'll need a Herkimer stone to record Bastilla's voice onto. Get one from the Rotting Fodder in Dark Cave.